All right, we are back 21 November 2023. So this video we're going to talk about turning on some uh, more powerful CPU rigs. These are my Ryzen AMD Ryzen 9 3900X 12 core processor uh, CPU rigs. I have, I don't know, how many do I got? One, two, three, four, five, six. I have six. So what I did previously was I had a little laptop miner right here. This is a laptop, Rocket Taco 4. And it is an Intel Core i7 1070 CPU, 2.6 gigahertz, with a, with a GTA 1660 Ti. This is making 30 cents a day. And I just ran that one to get an estimate of what, what I can make running on NiceHash. So this is all NiceHash right, right now. So I did that and I said, ah, it really wasn't worth it. And then someone posted, well, you know, he has a 3900, he's making buck 50. Okay. And I said, oh my God, I never thought to run the Ryzen 9 3900. They're sitting in front of me. So last night, uh, so it's been about eight hours. I fired up one, uploaded the uh, updates, downloaded the updates to NiceHash, redid some benchmarking, and then uh, I got all these rigs running right now. The, here, I'll give you a sense of what is in here. So temperature wise, I'm not sure why this Rocco Taco 8 is running hot. I'm going to probably take it out and clean the fans. I don't know. They're all the same. So some run hot, some don't. They're all pretty much out in open air. So I'll look at that one. All right, let's expand each one. We got uh, all Ryzen 9 3900s. I got one off, one one off here. Ryzen 9 3900. Oh, what's that? 3900 N12, I think, is different. 3950. So it's a 3950 16 core processor. And they're all running random X Monero uh, algorithm with XM rig. So let's go and look at what we're making. Let's cut to the chase. Ignore this 5 or 6. Again, the 6 1 not running is the laptop miner. Yeah, I felt that wasn't worth the squeeze, and it was getting hot, too. It's a laptop. And I can only just use that for staking stuff. So let's go on. So we're up to 743, 700, <laughs> I wish. We're up to, with these rigs all running together, $7.43 a day. Current actual profitability, 24 hours right up here in the top unpaid mining balance is a buck nine woohoo and uh there's my wallet balance 265 and i started at 0 0.01 cents and this again was eight eight to ten hours ago i started running this uh here's my speed here's my um 43.08 kilohash nothing to sneeze at nothing great and again this is all hobby all for fun and i do like getting paid in bitcoin bitcoin is king uh, I'm tired of messing with these altcoins. You just lose track of them. It's hard to keep up on them. And I mean, Litecoin's about the biggest altcoin I have, and that's questionable right now. So I'm, I'm thinking about maybe next year after the New Year's dumping that and flipping it to Bitcoin and just holding Bitcoin with maybe a little small portion of uh, Ethereum. I don't understand Ethereum. I'm sorry. I did mine it a lot, but I just don't get it. So let's go down. You can see each rig here. Give you guys an idea. Take a snapshot what I'm running here. Again, the temperature. I have to look at that. Why is it GPU? It really should be CPU. I have to look at what's going on there. It's a CPU. Yeah. Fan is 100%. Ooh, look at a fan here. Fan is 100%. Yeah, so the fan's good. I might have to pop that off and add some more. Uh, thermal paste and clean the fans on the cooler unit maybe I don't know we'll check it out so let's go to each individual CPU rig here it is here's what you see for nice hash these you know they're all different it's not 100% accurate it gives you a warm fuzzy what you're making per day like right here 89 cents it just dropped unpaid balance and it's running XM rig 6.8.1 you can go look at the benchmarks, expand it. This is all nice hash. They make it simple. Give them credit. I used to do other ways of mining. I forget, man. I totally forget. Just go right to the mining things and do it. It's just a pain in the butt. These, these guys make it simple. And um, 
yeah, I like it. Here's my speed, so 8.776 kilohash a second. Let's go look at the next one. Eight so that was 8.776. Let's go to benchmark. Benchmark. Oh, this one's faster. Again, it's the same CPU, so I don't know what I'm missing. Maybe it's a memory. It might be the memory on the... I have to double check. It might be the memory on the motherboard that may be uh, causing the different performance hits because they're all updated. All the plugins are the same. The XM rig is the same. They're all configured. I'm not getting that MSR mod error, which I fix by setting the permissions accordingly. If you get the MSR mod where it says, oh, hash rate would be low, can't modify the MSR mod, it's all a permission thing. Run as administrator, and uh, you'll get it the first time. Pause it, stop mining, and then start right back up. It should be good to go. All right, there's that one. Let's go to eight. This should be the same. Let's go to benchmark. And this is a little faster, 12.72. So again, I had to research. It's got to be the memory. Uh, let's see what we're making here. Same XM rig 681. And let's go up to 12. This is the one off. This is the benchmark. Oh, where's the benchmark? Yeah, 8.69. Yeah, it's, I got to double check that again. I'm, it all should be pretty similar. This is the six, um, 95. I forgot. What was it called again? Hold on. I just totally forgot. It is the, the 3950. This is this one right here. Yeah, I don't know why that's so low. I'll have to check that again. It's got to be the memory. I just have. It's been a. It's been a year since I set these rigs up, and I was just buying what I could get my hands on at the time for memory and CPUs. And the last one. Up, oh, I gotta fix that. See that I'm getting that MSR mod. Wonder why that popped up. Or is that an old one? So you gotta double check these now and then. Ah. Let's stop it. Watch this one's, this one's at the wonky. So what I do, let's go check the notifications. Minor restarted. Nothing really major. I'm just gonna kill it. Make sure everything else is stopped. Oh, it's asking me. So something wasn't good there with that miner. You gotta keep checking. Make sure things stabilize on your miners. All right, let's do this again. Nice house miner. Run. It's running as admin. Dum, dum, dum. Checking CPU, checking GPUs. I'm not doing any GPU mining. It's already, these CPUs put off a little heat as it is, but they use a fraction of the power of a GPU, which is nice. All right, let's do this. Benchmark, see what the benchmark was. 16.5, not bad. Yeah, I need to go through, like I said, look at system information on each of my Windows machines. These are all running Windows. And check what the memory is I have installed. All right, let's just go crank this puppy up. If I get that mod, yeah. So you get that stupid fail to apply MSR mod hash right below. So what I do, I, I do have everything running as administrator. Even XMRig 6.8.1, the binary executable, is running as admin. So let's go ahead and pause this. It's already spinning up. I'm just going to pause it. Give it a few seconds to wind down, clear out. Let's try it again. And hopefully, yeah, it went away. I don't know why it does that. I have no idea. I, missed, I tried everything, but I found that by bouncing it, it does clear it out. So here we go. This will start spinning up and start mining. So yeah, always got to check your mining rigs. Make sure each one is running. I'm not sure why I didn't report that over here. That it, yeah, there it came back. So this 13 is now up and running. You got 0, 0.00. So yeah, go to your dashboard, check things. And then if you have a minute, spend five minutes, just check everything, make sure it's running. So I'm put the 10.22. So this one is freaking me out. This 3950, that's kind of low. And this Rocket Taco 6 is kind of low as well. All right, but anyway, guys, here is a snapshot. You see it drop because I lost one miner. I restarted it. But uh, I do like their dashboard. Nice hashes. It's pretty clear, clean and simple. 
and you can almost just run it, like I said, but doing a, doing a kind of a daily check to make sure your miners are still actually out there working and check your temps. So I have some work today to check this Rocco Taco 8, take it offline, clean it, add some thermal paste, and then I'm also going to check the actual memory on these rigs because, again, they're all the same motherboard and they're all the same CPU except this 3950. So anyway, that is all I got. You can actually make some money now mining on NiceHash with your CPUs. Uh, you can do the laptops as well, but don't do the GPU. It was just getting hot with the GPU. It wasn't worth the squeeze. The juice wasn't the juice wasn't worth the squeeze. Just making that thing overheat. Uh, yeah. So give it a shot. I mean, if this is true, you know what I mean. If you're making five bucks a day on average times thirty a month, so what is that? 150 bucks you know why not if you can afford the electric cost I don't know what my electric I have to check so again this is all before electricity so it does whittle down so you may just end up breaking even sometimes you just don't know it depends on your electricity cost and if you're overheating your room you, you got to think about that as well you're fighting your your AC is going to be fighting your uh, your uh, your uh, CPU rigs, but if it's winter time, we're up north where you're at. If you know, I'm down south where it's warm, uh, it may heat your house. You never know, you got to think about that too. There's always these stupid pros and cons, but again, it's just pennies, it's more of a hobby, it's not life changing wealth. You're just kind of accumulating a couple little fractions of fractions of fractions of Bitcoin, but uh, it's all it's all for fun. All right, let me know what you think. Uh, it's cool, go check out your CPUs. It does look like a, a decent way to go right now versus the GPU route, which is more power intensive and more heat intensive and labor too. You gotta clean those things as well. CPUs are just night, nice, tidy, neat, small form factor, low power usage. Uh, they make a little noise, but nothing like GPUs. And uh, yeah, you gotta maintain them as well. Clean off the dust, and I do have a lot of dust on these things. They are not in cases. So that's probably one, the one drawback is, you know, put them in a case if you can, get the better airflow. That might be a pro. All right, hope that helps, guys. Typical, typical crypto mining, just trying stuff, see what works, see what's profitable. And it may not be profitable, it may drop down to one buck, and just turn them off, because it's just not worth wa wasting electricity in your time. Your time is valuable. Uh, let's see what's going on with this guy. 10-2, 10-2. Yeah, I don't like these lower hash rates. They're kind of bugging me now. But that's where we're at. Ho hope this helps. Hope to hope you found any value in this, and uh, we'll keep posting. I'll keep you updated on this, and uh, like I'm doing this right now, I'm going to run this a few days and see how it works, and then I'm also just buying Bitcoin directly through a, a Fidelity account in their crypto fund, and uh, that's dollar cost averaging in, 100 bucks here, 100 bucks there, right, 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 you know, see how that works out, but again, they own the uh, keys, so not your keys, not your coins, that's a huge red flag, so you got to be careful with that, guys. Maybe do it short term, make some short term profits, dump it, make some profits, dump it, rinse and repeat. Yeah, that's it. Go forth, guys. Do great things. And I'll keep you posted on how this was working out right now. All right.